Hey guys, some pretty cool stuff. For a while, people have been asking me to add some unit tests to the 100 algorithms challenge. If you don't know what the 100 algorithms challenge is, it is a hundred different algorithm problems that I solve and you know, I build it out and it's very active. You can see so many of them here going through and through and there's a bunch of previews if you wanna check them out. But I work through every single one as well as create readme files and we'll look at that again. But I recently added unit testing to them. Before we were just taking console logs, comparing the results, seeing that we got it from the readme. But now, um, only with seven minute videos, I set it all up for you. It's very easy to use. Uh, you know, in the past we would do something like, oh, did, you know, if we preview our readme, did we get the value here that when we wrote our code in our switch lights here worked out? Now, with how things are going, all you have to do is run a single script and it'll run it on the individual file, such as this is our add one, or we can simply run npm test and it'll run it on all of them. And it's already set up, they're already skipped. Quite literally, all you do is npm install and you're good to go. And then press A here to run all of them. But you can see it's running it on every single file that you would expect it. Now, I don't really go too much into Jest or anything. It's really here so that you can have a nice, easy way of testing your code in these spec files as you go and you continue to solve these algorithms. So it was a lot of uh, it's a lot of work, man. It took me, believe it or not, anytime you have a hundred of anything. <laughs> so um, you know, I'm very big of the hundred algorithm challenge, hundred Angular, hundred uh, front end interview question challenge. The uh, you know adding a hundred files and updating some readmes. So I did a little bit cleanup wise in here also. And then the configuration with the TS config, the package JSON, the Jest config, the Babel, all that took a second to actually set up. Um, configuration for stuff is such a headache, but it's pretty cool. And I'm really uh, excited to, um, to actually go and uh, share this with y'all. So what I thought I'd do is not only, you know, say, oh, hey, I updated my course, because I, I try to create evergreen courses with the 100 front end interview question challenge and and um, this course 100 algorithm challenge it's all about creating something that's going to benefit you today and then hopefully five or ten years down the road um, so that's why i wanted to do an update to this course i'll be doing updates to um, the front end one as well interview as well as the uh, angular one but uh anyhow so check that out and if you're interested in the course and seeing what it's like i'm actually going to do one of these algorithms right now and you can kind of get a feel for exactly how the course would flow it's out there, it's doing pretty good. Got a couple hundred reviews at this point in time. Um, 4.2 stars, honestly, I think it should be higher. Some of you guys have been giving me some bad reviews for like not doing Mac instructions and crap like that. Like, come on, man, <laughs> come, come on, man. Uh, you're gonna pay $10 for the course with the, it's 10 cents an algorithm, how can you complain? Uh, plenty of content. But uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead and do one of these and you can kind of uh, have some fun with me and then uh, see what the course is all about. All right, so I think the all longest strings is a great example here to give you an idea. So let's open up the readme here, see what it is that we're going to do. Um, we're going to get an array of strings, and we are then going to iterate through them and return the longest value. So in our example here, a, 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 D are the shorter strings, so we're not going to do that. The longest ones have three characters. So we're going to return an array of three characters of strings. All right. Now, if we go and update our test file by just taking this off, and we were to go and run npm run test file, and then in there we include the pattern all longest strings slash all long, lowercase a, all longest strings the reason for that is it goes into the folder and then the file name which has the same name and so you'll see when we do it right now it's returning undefined because we haven't updated anything but hopefully by the end of this we'll have that good to go and then you can comment this back in if you'd like i don't really use it so i'll leave it commented out now we're gonna know that the longest length will be initialized to zero. That's just how it's gonna work. Then we're gonna have the longest words, which is what we eventually wanna return back. It's an empty array. So we'll go ahead and return longest words. 
Now right now, that's just gonna return an empty array. Not really gonna do too, too much. Now that we've done the long, set the longest length, we actually have to go and figure out what that is. Oh, excuse me. So we'll take our input array. I'm just running for each here and we'll find the value. And um, in this case, this is more of a word. So I like that string, just be a little bit more explicit. All right, and what we want to do here is we simply want to set longest length equal to the value of the current word if it's longer. So in our case, if longest length is less than our current word dot length, then we'll use a ternary here. Set it to word dot length or set it back to itself. Um, you could also have done like an if statement and just set it. Um, usually when I'm doing one or the other, a ternary, if you could fit all one line, I kind of like that. Now that we've done that, we'll go into our array since we found the longest length and we'll iterate through here. And in a word and we have type string. And we'll simply do an if statement if the word dot length is exactly equal to the longest length, meaning it has the largest length match, go ahead and take our longest words and push that word. All right, and now when we go and we run npm test, well not npm test, whoops. Uh, that's when we run all of them, our test file here. We should get, boom, we passed this. Everything is good to go. We got all of our tests, and of course you can log it out and see it, but we have our test to say, hey, this is our expected return, and then we got it from this array. And obviously if we added an array, we could see if we wanted to see just test it, if we added something with four characters, this test should fail now, and it should return back an array with our four characters. So if we look in here, and we look at the output as to why it failed, boom, it failed because we expected this, right? The green is what we expected, which if you look here, and what we actually received was this. So an array was just that value. Let's go ahead and put that test back. but. Now we can go and test our code. We have all the unit tests set up and obviously we have a hundred challenges that we can do. So I'm hesitant to put the camera on because it's kind of early and I look kind of homeless, but I'll do it for you guys. Uh, so um, if you guys like this and you want to do more, I have uh, the 100 algorithm challenge, which has now been recently updated. So um, there'll be a link in the description below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff so I can see what questions you have. Maybe I'll do a video about it in the future. And take a look at some of my courses. They'll be in the description below. See you next time.